big mess. I promise this is this is gonna get better. I promise. If you hear in the background, there's a pug. Be quiet. He can't be tamed. Um, so my name is Rachie, and you're new here. This is a very new channel, and right now I want to make translucent skin. And so the idea had actually come from a movie. So Interview with the Vampire, and this is with Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise. And so the makeup artists, what they had, flipped the actors upside down on an inverted table so they could trace their natural veins. And that way then it would look like their skin is translucent so you can see veins popping, well not popping through the their skin but you can see the their skin is a bit of transparency so you can see through the skin and that's what I want to do here with um, makeup but I want it to look good so I don't want it to look like I'm sick so I just want to show you what I like to do and also I have rosacea so you can see that as I touch my skin uh, that happens and that's just natural I'm going to show you a base even when you have rosacea and I'm gonna enhance my rosacea even more because you can see this side is a lot more red than the other side and I'm just gonna try and even out the rosacea and that does sound counterproductive because a lot of times I see women with rosacea they want to hide the redness and I'm gonna show you a way on how to enhance it so that it looks like it's on purpose because a lot of times I get complimented a lot of people don't know I have rosacea and they think well oh I just put on blush I'm like no it's not blush or sometimes I can understand when people want to hide the rosacea because it can look like a rash so it can look worse but I'm going to show you and so please just trust the process so it's going to look like a hot mess we look like a big mess as I go through the whole base and as you can see I've already started my eyes and I think this is a pretty long intro and so let's just get started. So I'm going to zoom you in. And so the makeup that I'm wearing is actually from NARS. And so this is the Climax palette. Okay, so I used these two shades up top here and then this shade here. And <clears throat> I have a phlegm in my throat, so I don't know why I sound weird. I sound milky. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to get started. And I've been drinking my matcha. Okay, so I picked up Freck. And I saw this at Sephora because I've seen the brand online on instagram and i was really curious i'm going to use that tiny amount i can always add more if i need to but a little goes a long way and this just blends like a dream and so i had used this yesterday and so i didn't clean my makeup brush so you're gonna see i like to use an angled brush So I already prepped my skin, so I already applied a moisturizer. And so I think this color is appropriate. You can see. I think it was quick enough. I've used this quite a enough, quite a lot. So it's it's almost gonna look like a hot mess. And there we go. So rosacea is now almost enhanced. So I'm going to add a little bit more to this side because this cheek looks blotchy. So I'm just going to dab a little bit on here, onto my finger, and then I'm just going to place a little bit on my brush because I don't want it to be so intense. So yeah, during the winter this is what my blush or my rosacea typically looks like when I'm outside. So if I'm outside in the cold, I will look like this easily. And I can see why a lot of friends. It's weird. It's weird hearing friends say like, I wish I had rosacea. Um, for the long time I hated it because it was worse. It was a lot worse than this. And I didn't know I had rosacea. I always thought it was just natural to have a redness to the skin because I am First Nations and so a lot of relatives have that red undertone and so I always thought it was just natural and then being mixed and eating a lot of spicy food so a lot of Indian food didn't help <laughs> and never knowing that that was actually causing a bit of like the irritation to my skin so it's fun 
Now I can't eat so much spicy food. Kind of sucks. So I'm going to place blush just on the temples here as well. I'll place a little bit on my chin. Okay, this is going to look pretty bad. <laughs> I'm sorry if this looks bad and like, I promise this is going to get better. And so if you have rosacea and I don't think anyone gets to control like how the rosacea is dispersed. I don't because one side this side tends to be more red and blotchy whereas this one tends to be a bit dispersed redness so that's kind of what I'm trying to do here since as you can see like there were red dots here so I'm not gonna try and fight the fact that I have the red dots here I'm going to add in a little bit of the highlighter. So this is Lisa Eldridge. So this one is her Seamless Skin. So this is the Elevated Glow Highlighter. And this is Cosmic Rose. And so I really like this shade here. And I'm just going to be using my hand as a palette. I think that's just easier. So I'm just going to dab here. I'm just going to place it just on the tops of my cheeks actually no let's not do that I think let's let's see if we can take this off here so what I want to use is another product by Freck Beauty and this is the slime light and I thought this is really cool because it has like a green shift to it and this is Big Bang and I'm just gonna place this on my hand. So again, I like to use this as a palette. This is convenient. So this is a, this is from the dollar store. So this is just a candle holder, and this is perfect for a palette if you're looking for one. The dollar store is always great. And I'm just gonna place this. Hopefully, a little comes out. You don't need so much. Again, a little goes a long way. And I think that looks really cool. Sit on this side here. Um, trying not to disturb blush that I placed. It looks disturbed. Just want to fix blush. Um, so translucent skin. I didn't really explain that. This is actually popular in K Beauty and J Beauty as well. Like glass skin is uh, glass skin tends to be popular in like Asian beauty, but I think people like don't realize that they go for a lot of skin finishes, and translucent skin is another popular form of beauty. And I want to go in with contour. I really like using the Balm, the Balm Contour by Danessa Myrick. So this is stunning. So this is the perfect like, shade for my skin tone. I like to go a bit heavy and I like to use this big fluffy fan brush to, to apply it. So I apply it on one side of the brush and I stamp it on my cheeks, so I'll show you. So you can see... Oh, this looks like a big mess. I promise this is, this is gonna get better. I promise. Okay, this side looks a lot better. So I like to use the clean side because I think I grabbed too much for this side here. Just gonna buff it out. Place this on my forehead. Okay, and so I like to place this on my jawline here. So this is just how I like to hide. I can't really hide my double chin. 
but I like to try and at least give the illusion that I have a chiseled jaw. just a little bit. And I only like to place it here. And so if you can see, I'm trying to make my jawline square. Not so, I don't know. It'd be nice to have like a nice chiseled jawline. So I'm trying to make my jawline just a little bit stronger. I don't know, I think maybe I was a mouth breather as a kid. If you had breathed through your nose as a child, your jawline would have formed properly. But if you didn't, and you breathed through your mouth, then your jawline wouldn't develop properly. I don't know if that's true. I think it's true. So, it goes running a lot as a kid. And now I'm gonna place um, concealer just under my eyes. So I'm gonna use NARS Matte, Soft Matte, Complete concealer. I don't know what it is. The long titles. I'm gonna use a little concealer brush. So I'm gonna use a concealer brush here. I'm just gonna place a little bit on my tear trail. So I think I slept pretty good. Maybe you can tell, like, I don't have bags under my eyes. What I have is just a tear trail. And that's just what I was born with. I've had pictures of just having, like, a crease here. And that's just, I don't know how to explain it. It never bothered me, it still doesn't. I wanted to get it filled actually. Now that I know that you can't get a filler underneath your eyes because the skin here is almost attached. So like if there's tendons attaching your skin to other parts of your body so that's why if you add filter or a filler underneath your eyes to try and lift up the tear trail it's just a big mess because there's only so much that can be done so i don't think doctors are now slowly starting to phase under eye filler to get rid of dark or puffy eyes or dark circles because it's not that helpful and i'm gonna place this on the center of my nose just here and I'm gonna place just here. So I'm not gonna make this perfect. So you can see I'm almost reverse contouring my face. just a little bit. What I like to use is an e.l.f. brush. So this is actually meant for concealing, for concealer. But this is just a perfect brush here. And so I like to put a little bit of a lighter concealer here. And I'm going to go in again with like the, the Freck Beauty Slime Light. Because I want to place that on my Veltrum, my Cupid's Bro. Cupid's Bro? Cupid's Bow. Actually, I'm gonna blend out my nose too. So I just wanna blend this out too. And I'm just gonna place the slime light here. Place a little bit more. I'm just going to blend this out just a little bit. And now, I'm going to go in with Lisa Eldridge's foundation. So this is her Seamless Skin. And I really like, I really like this foundation. So this is another foundation that I really like. And it's the first one that I like that actually, like it's self-setting. And I like the pump too, simply because you're not getting that much. 
and I only want to use that much and I want to mix it with her highlight. So this is Cosmic Rose and this is her Elevated Glow or yes. So this is her Elevated Glow and I want to, um, okay. So I think where we left off, sorry, I got interrupted. Okay, so now I'm going to place the Beauty Balm on my nose and I'm just going to do a bit of nose contouring too. I don't like strong nose contour because usually in person it's noticeable and it looks like a brown two stripe on your nose and that's not really like, it's not what we want here. So I'm going to show you just how I just do a subtle nose contour. And I'm just going to make like a little bit of a triangle going down here. So we're just going to fake having a little shadow here, and I like having a button nose. I'm going to place a little bit there. And to give me more of a lift to my nose, I like to place this here. If I wanted a longer nose, I wouldn't place shadow or any contour here. And this just gives the illusion that I have an upturned nose when I don't, so that's my trick. And I just like my nostrils. So nose contouring can always just be very personal because everyone has different shaped noses. And so this is what I like to do for my nose and how I like my nose to look. We look like a big mess. Now let's try to fix it. And so as you see, before I got interrupted, I was gonna place Elevated Glow and this is Cosmic Rose. And so I'm gonna mix both the foundation highlighter together. So I'm gonna mix both together. I don't recommend doing this if you have really oily skin because this might not feel like on your skin. I think this foundation looks good on all skin types but I only know what it looks like on myself and so I'm just going to dot it all over my face. So I promise you this is all going to turn out. So if you have really dry skin I think this is something you'll really like doing. So I like sharing out my foundation. And now do this. I think this looks a lot better, a lot more natural. Another thing that I got from Freck, the original OG. So this is just to make freckles. And so this is optional. You don't have to actually put freckles. So I'm gonna see how I like to dot on freckles here. So freckles are not perfect. And then you just pat it on a little bit. Just a little bit on my forehead. And so for these freckles, I'm not going to pat them down because all freckles come in different. They're not going to be all the same color. So I want a little bit of the darkness. And so I'm going to actually set this with Revolution powder. Never used this before. I'm going to wait for this to dry just a little bit. I wish I had freckles. Okay. So I'm going to use my hand again as a palette. I'm going to place the powder here, it's on my palm, and I'm going to grab a little brush here, and I want to place that powder underneath my eyes to set. 
I'm using my hand as an example. I have a palette where I could place the powder with the rest of the powder. I'm just gonna powder just on the center of my face. So I had picked up another, because I like actually using Great Lash, Great Lash. So I like to use this waterproof mascara, but I'm going to go a little bit more bougie. This here. So I'm going to use the Dior Iconic Over, Over Curl. I always just use waterproof mascara for a thin layer to keep my lashes curled. And so I'm just going to use another, just a thin layer. And I made a mistake there. It's okay. I can fix it. I like to use a metal comb. And another bougie mascara that I have here is from Lancome. This one is Hypnotize. This is my first time using any of these mascaras. And so I'm I like using drugstore mascaras. Okay, I think this dries really fast. So I think my lashes look really good. Now I'm going to do the bottom lashes. Another product from the drugstore. So this is Maybelline. So this is the Late Color Sensational Lip Shaping Lip Liner. I have uneven lips, so I make sure that this side is a lot more higher than this side, because this side is naturally a bit higher. And when I look through the mirror, I don't know what it is, but it looks like my lips are even when in the camera, they're not. So right now I'm looking in the mirror and they look even. And this is taking me a lot of practice to learn how to do my lips. Let me fix. So I'll show you how I fix mascara mistakes. So I'll use like a spoolie. So I'll use a spoolie and... I'll use this makeup brush here. So I think that solved it just a little bit. And um, so as I was saying, I wasn't quick enough to purchase all of Lisa Eldridge's new lipstick releases. So I'm just going to use this lip pencil as like a lipstick. I don't know if my lips look even. And now, in place Kosa. Because I like bronzing, not just contouring. So I think that's it. That's it. That's all I would do to finish makeup. So I really like really hope that you like this makeup look and want to recreate it and please like subscribe and hopefully I'll come out with more videos and just so you know it's not easy for me to come out with more content because I work part-time go to school full-time I'm studying to become a medical esthetician so so if you want to know a little bit more about skincare, um, I can do that, not just makeup. And yeah, I really hope that you like this look and that you still want to keep coming back for more looks on my channel. And I'll try to upload at least once a month, uh, other than like the shorts on YouTube. And so yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Uh. <laughs> uh, or you can just put this in like the bloopers. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Why are they barking? I don't know why the dogs are barking out there.
all over so it's not easy so um you want me to walk on your back okay